Hello there! In this video I will show you kind of briefly how I made this tutorial fursuit cosplay. I started with the head's skeleton, <laughs> as to say, and I used plastic canvas. I also used four foam pieces that's against my head, so it's comfortable. Oh hey look, it's a little me! I've always liked fursuits it seems. The next step is to glue a first layer of foam all around the head. I also started on the mouth that I wanted to be able to open and close. To be honest, I wasn't sure how this will turn out at this point. <laughs> My first idea to get in and out was to open it and close it like this every time, but thankfully I changed that later. But this is what I did while making it. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> Look, now I have a muscle and cheeks. I also have a shin. And I'm starting to see the final picture. I think I know what I'm doing by now. This is how I trim the foam. I just use sharp scissors and cut it into shape. It's just like sculpting. I just kind of try to see how I want it to be and just try to make it that shape. I wasn't sure if I wanted three toes or four toes, but Astral has three, so we're going with that. This is the foam I worked with the whole time, and I actually had to cut it thinner, like on the side, and I did that four times until it was thin enough for me. But for the feet, we are gonna keep it thick. I folded pieces like this to make that toe shape, and I kept the side parts long like this. So here I've trimmed the previous parts quite a bit and they turned out like this with some more foam on top. So I've never seen anyone do this before, but I made a gap here. So when you walk, it's like actual walking, your toes bend and it's really more comfortable. That way it feels and looks way more natural while walking. I actually made the feet a bit smaller. I just felt they were too big compared to the head. I wrapped the feet in tape and drew out where I wanted the fur to be. I don't know how the pieces were supposed to be, but it looked good in the end so I guess it didn't really matter. To make the pieces non-sticky, I put them on some paper and then cut them out. And be sure to mark which piece is which one, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Here I just put them on the first backside and gave them a lot of seam allowance. Don't forget to mark the fur pieces too. To use a box cutter is way better than scissors for this, because otherwise you might cut pieces off the fur and that's not good. This is so much easier with two hands. Please use two hands for this. I trimmed the fur roughly with sharp scissors to make the fur just a bit shorter and then I used a trimmer to make it more even. I only did this for the feet. For the head I did all this after I glued the pieces onto the foam head. 
For the hands, I simply traced my arm on the fabric and made two and sewed them together and then turned it inside out, just like you do with gloves. I attached the fur simply by gluing them in place with a hot gun. All in all, I used 107 glue sticks for this project, the feet and the head. Afterwards, I cut away the seam allowance with the knife. I actually used these feet later for another cosplay. You can't really see them in the video except here though. What is this? It's the head. I gave her a fabric piece for the mouth and also a neck. To get in and out, I gave her a zipper in the back. It's much easier to get in and out this way compared to how I did before. Now she's trimmed! I made the horns and teeth out of clay and the ears are made the same way as the hands kind of. For eyeliner and eyelashes I used foam and I just drew the eyebrows with a foam piece as a guide. The eyes white part is just thin foam and the black part is see-through fabric that I folded a few times to make it thicker and less see-through. Then I just painted on the details with acrylic paint. Easy! I didn't make her dress because I was kind of tired of this project by this point, so I just bought a sweater and glued on the symbol. I printed out the pattern from the internet and traced them on white fabric and cut it out and glued it on. And now I'm done! This cosplay was used in a panel, but I wasn't the one inside actually. It was my friend Joel, who also was Asriel at the Under the Ground performance. I was beside the stage, talking in the microphone while he was in the suit on stage. It was a last minute thing, but it turned out good, I think. If you want to learn how to make your own fursuit and get more detailed instructions of how I did most of my things, I really recommend check out this blog. It's the site I follow to learn myself and it has everything you need to know about how to make your own fursuit. It was really helpful for me. They got all these pages with detailed instructions how to make like everything. So please check them out before you ask any big question about how to build a suit. But if you have any specific question about my fursuit, then feel free to ask. And yeah, that was everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you another time. Bye bye!